Isopon gives you an easy repair solution for almost every type of damage. In this video, we're going to walk you through the Isopon body repair kit for holes. You also have the option of the Isopon body filler kit for holes without the primer for smaller repairs. The body repair kit for holes contains everything you need to repair and prime rust holes in most types of metal. First, by filling the hole with the fiberglass reinforced body filler and then using the aluminium mesh to repair holes up to 75 millimeters wide in diameter, you can complete the repair with a layer of body filler that can easily be sanded and then primed with a multi-purpose primer aerosol which sprays easily, dries fast and leaves a smooth, even finish that's ready for paint. Let's take a look at everything that comes in the body repair kit for holes. Two sections of aluminium mesh screen for holes up to 75 millimeters in diameter, a spreader, peel away mixing sheets with two different ratios, primer, body filler, fiberglass reinforced body filler, hardener, a tack cloth, several pairs of protective gloves, a convenient resealable bag of solvent wipes, and coarse, medium and fine grit sandpaper. Now here's a few things you may need for this repair a sanding block, a wiping towel, some tape for the aluminium mesh on the back side of the repair, and some scissors to cut the mesh. Now let's take a look at our repair. This is a 70s vintage wing with a small rust hole in the side. We've removed the rust with a saw and prepped around the outside to make sure we've got solid metal to repair to. The solvent wipes come in a convenient resealable package. We're just going to take one for now. Using the solvent wipe, we're going to clean both the front and the back side of our repair panel. That way, our tape that is going to be used to adhere the mesh can definitely stick through the repair process. Using one of the pieces of aluminium mesh, we trace out the dimensions of our repair. And then cut approximately 25 millimeters around the perimeter of the repair. Using tape, we will apply it to the back side of our repair, giving us a foundation to apply the reinforced filler and repair the hole. Remove the cap from the body filler for holes tube and pierce the opening with the cap. Squeeze out all the body filler for holes onto the mixing sheet. and then squeeze out the hardener to the length B on the sheet. Using the provided applicator, mix the filler for holes and hardener together until you get a uniform color. Thorough mixing is very important to ensure you get the best result. Remember to apply to your hole or patch within four minutes of starting to mix. When you're happy with the shape of your filler, let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and harden before sanding. Using the coarse grit paper wrapped around a sanding block or sanding board, use a cross blocking technique to level the reinforced filler to the surrounding area. Have patience with this. This filler is extremely hard, but it gives an excellent foundation for an excellent and very solid repair. The peel away sheets give you a fresh, clean surface for the next stage. which is squeezing out the body filler. Followed by the hardener, squeezed out to the A length. Make sure you blend both components thoroughly. This is very important at this stage. 
and make sure you spread it onto your repair within four minutes of mixing. Use your spreader to apply the filler outside the initial repair where it is slightly higher than the first step. After letting the filler sit for 20 to 30 minutes to properly dry and cure, using the medium grit sandpaper and the same sanding block, apply a cross blocking pattern to level to the surrounding surface. You can tell when your filler is getting flush to the surrounding areas by the translucent edges. Using a fresh solvent wipe, wipe away any loose sanding dust, wax, oil, grease or contamination off the surrounding area and your repair. Proper use of a tack cloth involves unfolding it, allowing the air to penetrate into the mesh of the fabric and balling it up gently. This makes sure none of the residue from the tack cloth ends up in your work. With your surface properly tacked off, you're ready for primer. Primer needs to be shaken thoroughly. Allow a few minutes for this. Then apply the primer in even, wet coats. You'll need to wait a few minutes between coats, but a simple touch test will tell you when it's ready for the next coat. Always remember, when spraying primer at any time, Use it in a well-ventilated area and protect your respiratory system. If you apply multiple coats of primer, make sure you allow plenty of drying time. Once your primer is dry, you can use the fine grade sandpaper and prep the surface for the top coat of your choice. Here's a quick tip. Use the primer to seal the back side of your repair from corrosion in the future. Isopon offers an easy repair solution for almost any damage. So for more information on the body repair kit for holes or the body filler kit for holes or any other Isopon product, check out our website isopon.co.uk.